Yo, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, I go by the name of DJ Focus. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a boom bap type beat. So let's get into the video. So here's the sample I'm gonna be using. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the sample, right click it and hit edit in the audio editor. And then once you're in here, I'm gonna chop it up. So I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna get rid of all this dead space for all this right here and hit delete. And now I got rid of all the dead space. And now the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna listen to the sample again and I'm gonna chop it up to like two different parts. So that's the first part I want to chop up. Now the next part is over here. All right, so I'm liking that. So next time I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up to this button up here click it so now that i click this button now all my samples are right here all right so i'm gonna get rid of this sample up here and now let's work with the first sample i chopped up so the next thing i gotta do now i gotta detect the tempo and to do so you could just click on this button right here where it says detect tempo it says 140.75 but it doesn't sound like it's on there hold on as you guys can hear it's not on tempo so to fix that go up here and keep messing around with it until you find it All right, so I found the tempo for this sample. It's uh, 167. So now the next thing I got to do, since I found the tempo, as you guys can see right here, it's not really on beat right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop up the sample a little bit more so I can get every hit on this number. Like, for example, you see this number four? I want this like right on there. So I just got to cut it up. And to do so, just go up to this uh, tool up here, go up to this knife up here and just start chopping it up. So the first one, it's like right here. So let me fix that. As you guys can see right here, it's not on beat. So all I'm going to do is just going to drag this over. I'm going to switch this to none. And there you go. So something like that. Now I'm going to bring this back. And this as well. But now I'm going to keep looking again. Let's see, like this right here too. All right, so everything is looking good. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to listen to it. All right, so I'm liking the sample, so I'm going to leave it alone. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some drums. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the hi-hats. I'm just going to fill each two steps.
so now we got the snare. The open hi hat. The next thing we got is like this chant. Never mind, I'm gonna take this off. All right, so now the next thing, I'm gonna layer these kicks. So here's my first kick, and this is my second kick. So I'm gonna layer them together, and this is what it sounds like. This is my sub. So I'm just gonna copy one of my kicks and paste it on the sub and then cut itself. And I'm gonna go back up. And I'm going to try to find the key.
then I did add an EQ. It had so much bass and I took it off. And this is what it sounds without an EQ. You can hear a lot of that bass, but with this EQ, you can't hear like none of it. And this is the only thing I have on my uh, sample. So far, I'm liking how this sounds. So I think I'm going to leave it like this. And the next thing I got to do, I think I just got to arrange the beat. And pretty much that's it. And thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm out. Focus on the beat.